Case-Based Reasoning in Games, directed by Michael Floyd, starring an all-star international cast. Games provide many interesting properties for researchers like complex environments, large search spaces, partial observability, real-time constraints, and multi-agent interaction. Because of this, games, simulations, and robotics have become popular testbeds for AI techniques. This video is going to highlight work that has been done using case-based reasoning in games. We will show contributions from many researchers all over the world and present their intriguing case-based reasoning research. Case-based reasoning is based on the idea that similar problems tend to have similar solutions. Previously encountered problems and their solutions are stored as cases in a case base. These cases can then be used to find the solutions to newly encountered problems. First, let's look at Sartre from the University of Auckland. Sartre is using case-based reasoning to play Texas Hold'em poker against a human opponent. It learns by examining logs of previous games. In 2010, Sartre achieved a top three finish at the AAAI Computer Poker Competition. This system from Laval University learns by observing the game of Tetris being played. They use reinforcement learning to improve case retrieval and case usage metrics to decide which cases to keep. This helps to keep the case base compact so it can be searched in real time. The Darmok 2 system uses case-based planning techniques to learn by observation. Darmok 2 has been used in the Make Me Play Me website to allow users to generate their own AI in a variety of games through demonstration. As you may have noticed, learning by observation is a common theme in CBR games research. At Carleton University, they examine how to guide the observation process to get a good representation of the problem space, and they also examine how an agent can learn behaviors in multiple domains. At the University of Washington Tacoma, they've examined online learning during gameplay. When learning micromanagement strategies in real-time strategy games, they found that online learning needs to be carefully moderated and propose the use of case generalization techniques to help achieve this. Icebot is a StarCraft agent from the University of California, Santa Cruz. The goal of the project is to augment human-authored reactive plans with mind knowledge. CBR is used for a variety of tasks in the agent, including learning from demonstrations, goal formulation, opponent modeling, and state estimation. Case-based reasoning isn't just limited to simulated games. At IIIA, they use case-based reasoning for cooperative action selection when controlling a team of soccer-playing robots. These robots work together to control the ball and score on their opponent's goal. CBQLIR is a case-based reinforcement learning system that plays American football. Initially, it uses intent recognition to learn to predict what plays the defensive team is performing. It then employs transfer learning and uses this knowledge to improve its ability to control the behavior of the quarterback. Case-based reasoning has been used to make AI development easier for the developers. At Complutense University of Madrid, they have done work that allows designers to refine case-based plans using behavior trees. The designers can identify weaknesses and quickly correct them by filling in knowledge holes. Another CBR tool from Complutense University of Madrid is used for simplifying the creation of state machines. Previously created state machines are stored in the case base and are retrieved and reused when a new state machine is being built. This allows an AI designer to harness past knowledge and speed up development. The Show Me project from Georgia Tech provides a toolkit that uses case-based reasoning techniques to help users create their own movies by filling in lines for user-authored story plots. A virtual movie director is then used to render the animated scenes into a movie. For more information about case-based reasoning in computer games, please visit the CBR wiki page.